welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming another episode of what's on my face. This is like my makeup journal. So what I do is I basically tell you guys most of the items I'm wearing on my face. Now I've done two of these videos previously. I probably should make a playlist. If you guys are interested, definitely check it out. I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. That way you can watch some of my previous episodes. But the reason I decided to start this series is because I feel like I always talk about new products and hauls and stuff like that, but then you never really hear much follow up on my channel, whether I'm wearing the products I'm purchasing, etc, etc. So I thought this would be kind of a fun way to tell you what's on my face and also I'm not a huge fan of get ready with me videos, especially filming them because they take a lot of time and mine tend to be super long or I forget to talk and I'm just doing my makeup so it's like really awkward. So I figured I would just make videos like this and so far it seems like you guys enjoy them. So without further blabbering, I'm going to get in to what's on my face. Okay guys, so I'm not going to talk about every single item I use today. Some of the stuff is repetitive. So I decided to leave that stuff out. You've probably seen it on my channel multiple times. So I'm going to talk about stuff that I don't usually talk about all the time. So this time I decided to just go in with the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Now I have mentioned this guy before, but this was a foundation that I reviewed on my channel many years ago. And I didn't actually like it, which was shocking. I reviewed it when it was very, very new and it's one of my like most watched videos and so I decided last year to purchase this again and see if I liked it and now I actually do really enjoy it. I don't think the lasting power is really all day but it definitely gets me through a work day. So today I just have this foundation on. I didn't put any new foundation on, I just took my foundation brush and kind of buffed around my nose and my mouth area because that's where I tend to lose the most foundation. But overall, I really like this guy. If you have dry skin or you live in a wintry area, I think you'll really like this and I'm super glad I gave this another shot. Now I did try the newer foundation that NARS came out with that is in the clear glass bottle. I think if you have oily skin, you'll really like that one. It's super, super matte. It was honestly almost a little too matte for me, especially right now in the winter time. It felt like it was really like sucking all the moisture out of my skin. So I had to go ahead and return that. So in case you were wondering what happened with that foundation, that is what happened. Now a newer product, you guys are going to see this in my March haul video, is the Urban Decay The Velvetizer. Now I watch Andrea Matiliano here on YouTube and she raves about this stuff so I was like itching to buy it and I was waiting for like a coupon to come around and it never really did so I ended up using a gift card that I had to Ulta and purchasing this. I've only honestly used this about three or four times and so far I have no real thoughts on it. It's supposed to like make your foundation more like full coverage and it's like a mix-in medium but I don't know. I feel like some people use this even to set their foundation and stuff so I'm gonna have to learn a little bit more about this guy. If you have tried it out though definitely let me know in the comments because you guys know I love hearing from you, so that is something I used on my face today. Um, this powder is in my Project Pan. This is the Cover Effect Perfect Press Powder, and this is in the shade Medium. I picked this up because I have the Cover Effects Loose Setting Powder, and I thought I would try the Press Powder as well. So I don't really like love this, like it's not like to die for, but I do have it in my collection, so I do want to use it up, which is why it's in my Project Pan. Another item that is in my project pan, you guys must have seen me talk about this before, is the NARS Cosmetics Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Ginger. I absolutely love this concealer. It was very, very hyped on YouTube when it first came out, and I refused to buy it. And then one day I was like, nah, I'll just try it out and see, and I really, really love it. It's definitely one of my favorite concealers. It is very... It's not drying under your eyes, it's very emollient and it goes on nice and smooth and it really helps moisturize and brighten up your under eye area. So I would really recommend the NARS concealer if you guys are looking for a new one. This is a sample I'm trying to use up. This is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisture. 
I love anything, most anything, with the word coconut in it. And this is really, really a nice fragrance. Now, you guys know I'm not a huge believer of primer. So I can't really say this does anything amazing, extraordinary to my skin. But since it has that yummy scent, I put this on before I do my makeup. And it never hurts for me to have extra moisture on my skin. So that's why I've been using this. And I cannot wait to use it up and just get it out of my collection. Because if you guys can see in the back there, I have a few little samples. I have so many samples. I'm going to need to stop getting samples from Sephora because it just like completely overwhelms me. But yeah, that is another story for another day. But let me know if you guys get completely overwhelmed by samples from Sephora as well. Speaking of samples, I don't know if this is weird, but I have this box that I got from Influencer. And I'm going to use it to do a giveaway. So I'm going to fill this up with perfume samples, skincare samples, any kind of samples that I have that I don't really need. Right now it's just full of perfume samples. And I'm going to stuff this thing to the brim. So we're going to do a little sample giveaway. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. And maybe you guys are really into perfume or you want to do like that creating your own perfume and mix like all these perfumes. Whatever reason you want to... Get your hands on this. We're going to do a little hidden giveaway in this video. So all you need to do to enter is just leave me a comment with uh, your favorite scent. And uh, I will go ahead and pick a winner in a couple of weeks. I will go ahead and put all the rules for this giveaway in my description box because this is totally off the cuff. I just want to do a giveaway for you guys and just say thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm going to do more giveaways in the future. I just haven't planned so keep an eye out for that and definitely subscribe to my channel but if you guys want to win this box full of sample size stuff then just leave me a comment with your favorite fragrance and I will contact you if you are the winner. Okay guys now that I threw in that random giveaway I hope you guys are excited. Let's get back into what I was talking about. Now, I want to show you guys the blush I'm wearing today. It is this Flower Beauty Flower Pot Powder Blush in the shade Sweet Pea. Now, I really like this shade. It's very like me. It's a mauve pinky blush, and it looks really great on my skin tone. So I think if you're lighter than me, you could probably really rock this. I don't know if you're much tanner than me, if this will still show up on your skin, but it's a very affordable powder blush from the drugstore and I really like it so I tend to gravitate towards this color quite a bit and this packaging is so cute and I really enjoy Flower Beauty. I think they're one of those hidden gems in the drugstore if you guys haven't checked them out yet. Let's talk about another drugstore gem. These are the Pixie Beauty Liquid Fairy Lights and this is the shade Rose Gold. I saw my friend Angelica Nyquist wear one of these in one of her videos. She had some shade, but I knew it was the pixie ones. So then I bought one color and then I loved it. And so then I bought all the colors. There's five shades. These are an amazing dupe to the Stila Gl Glistening Glows or the Glittering Glows or whatever they're called. If you can't quite afford those, I would recommend highly checking out these ones by Pixie Beauty and I'm not even a huge fan of Pixie but they really killed it with these products there's no like heavy glitter fallout or anything it's nice and opaque these are really really beautiful and 100% underrated so if you are looking for a nice liquid eyeshadow this is your guy next thing I want to show you guys is the glitter glue of choice now I don't like Too Faced but they sure do make a decent glitter glue this is the Too Faced glitter glue shadow primer and I use this every time I use glitter now the reason I had to use this glitter glue today is because the eyeshadow palette I used on my eyeballs is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette I have had this palette for quite some time and I've been meaning to film a review, but I feel like I just didn't give it enough time to play with it. So this week I have been testing it out even more. And honestly, just a quick spoiler of the review, this palette is amazing. I'm not even just saying that because of the, like, the amazing price point. It's just like hands down amazing. Like if I didn't know this was BH Cosmetics, I would still recommend this to friends because the mattes are so buttery. You get such a great variety of colorful glitter shades. And the thing is too, when you look at the mattes, they don't seem that impressive because you get a bunch of purples and then a bunch of neutral shades. But all of these mattes work so well with the colors they gave you 
for like that dramatic lid look if you're going for like some of the sparkles that it just works so well together and I swear this palette is like beyond underrated I think that if you still have the chance to get it you should get it and I will have a review coming up on this palette if you guys are interested in seeing that I also have a swatch party video on this palette somewhere and if I remember I will link it for you guys okay guys the last three items I used today are the benefit roller lash mascara now Benefit, again, is also on my shit list. It is not really a brand I enjoy, but I think I picked these up during maybe like an Ulta sale or something where I got these mascaras at a discounted price, which is really the only time I buy high-end mascaras is if I can get a really good deal. And I feel like I maybe thought I really liked this mascara. I have since changed my mind. I don't think it's that great of a mascara. It doesn't really do anything extra to my lashes. It just coats them so they're more visible on my face, but they don't lengthen. It doesn't give me any extra volume or anything like that. So kind of changed my mind about that product. And then here's another product that I kind of changed my mind about as well. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and Perversion. I don't really remember loving the Urban Decay eyeliners. I've had many of them in the past because you always seem to get them as samples from like Sephora orders. So this is also again another sample. But I actually really like this. I think it did a good job of staying in the waterline. Usually my problem with eyeliner is it never seems to stay. I'm obsessed with the Pat McGrath Labs Glide On Eye Pencils. Gel liner pencil. I don't even know what they're called. But those are amazing. And so, I mean, I wouldn't replace my Pat McGrath one with the Urban Decay one, but it's nice to have another option, I guess, in case you guys were sick of hearing me talk about how good the Pat McGrath eyeliner is. And then the last item is this brand brand new thing that I just got in the mail. I wanted to put this on for filming, but this is not the lip color I wore all day today or anything like that, but I love the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Formula. This is beyond comfortable, like right now I can't even tell I'm wearing a lipstick and I got the shade Milag Milag Milagro. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is one of the new shades she released exclusively on her website. I decided to pick this up because Kat Von D just did 20% off on her website and honestly I wanted a few other shades, but I'm really trying not to buy makeup just for the sake of buying makeup or because it's on sale or because I want to hit the free shipping minimum. That's a huge thing for me. I always try to buy more products so I can hit that free shipping minimum and it's a really, really bad habit. So I just bought the one shade I wanted. This is kind of cool. It reminds me a lot of Kathleen Light's Miami Fever, but I know I love the Kat Von D formula, so I just went ahead and purchased it during the Kat Von D friends and family event. Okay guys, that is everything for this episode of What's On My Face. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, brilliant insights on anything that I talked about today. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video and please don't forget to enter that giveaway. I know it's not like some crazy amazing prize or anything, but hey, some people really like perfume samples. I personally have a whole hoard of them that I like to keep in my purse, so I would love for one of you to win it. And don't forget to enter and don't, for and don't forget to let your friends know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>